And we're live! I'm Froggy. And I'm Little Froggy. And you are watching YouTube Live with the Froggies. This week we're going to talk about our favorite video. We are going to open fan mail. We're going to have fun with LL Surprise and Pick Me Pop accessories. And we would like to give a special thanks to Bullseye Toy for providing those to us. Then we are going to do a question and answer, talk about our Instagram giveaway. At the very end, we'll do as many shout outs as we can. Are you ready? Yep. All right, so the very first thing I need to mention is that we will be at VidCon this year in Anaheim, California. So if you are going to VidCon and you see us, please come by and say hi. We would love to say hi to you. Okay, that was that one. Now up next is favorite vid. What was your favorite vid this week? My favorite video, little what? My favorite, favorite video this week was the Rita Kuma. Rita Kuma. I didn't turn my volume off. Sorry. <laughs> Say it again. What did you say? It was the Rudakuma, um, the room. Not the verses. I like the verses too, but I can better. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you like the remit stuff the best? Yeah. Over what we crafted. I mean, that was cool too, but I just really like remit. <laughs> you know, I did too. And someone did ask, where did we find our remit? And we find most of our remit at Barnes & Noble. Sometimes you can also find it online on Amazon. You can get some really good stuff there. But I love to find things in stores, and I usually find mine at Barnes & Noble. So, uh, yeah, that was that one. My favorite video, huh? Chapstick? Oh, <laughs> someone's not prepared. Okay, my favorite video this week was definitely the Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures app where we did the recipes. Now, most of those recipes I discovered while we were in... LA working and so she was like doing something and I had a lot of free time and so the whole time I was there I was playing Barbie Dream House Adventures and trying to discover all the recipes. So that was my favorite video and we have more of those coming up. So I know that the recipes can be difficult to know what they are because there's not like a list. So we will be doing as many recipes as we can so that if you are playing the game you know how to make all the fun stuff in the kitchen. Okay up next is what was that? Do a flash craft. Oh, like the flash. That is on our list. I have not been watching this season. His daughter is on there. Was that this season or last season? I don't know. The last episode I saw, I was like, oh, he has a kid and she's like from the future. And I was like, no. So, yeah. I'm a little behind on the flash at the moment. I do apologize. Um, up next is LL Surprise and Pick Me Pop Accessories. And we'd like to give a special thanks to Bullseye Toy for providing these to us. So these are some slap bands that you can get themed off of LOL Surprise. And these are light ups. And then this is a pick me pop surprise. It's like hair bows. And what is this? This contains magnets, stickers, charms, and a poster. So it's like a little tin can themed off of pick me pops that you can add to your doll stuff if you like collecting a lot of fan items based on these toys. So first up is slap bracelets. Oh, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Don't, you know, when I was a kid, these things used to hurt because they weren't coated in plastic. They weren't? They were metal. <laughs> they were metal. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, come on. Come on. Get it over. It's like ripping off a Band-Aid. Ow! Oh, I didn't do it right. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, oh, I'm getting tortured here. All right, just, I tried to do it, it shouldn't hurt. Okay, here we go. Yay! I think the first time you were trying to hurt me. I didn't know what to do. Kids. What is this? Is Wait, you banana? didn't put my LOL Surprise girl on there. Isn't this um, VR Cutie, I think her name was? So isn't she supposed to be on my thing here? Man, come on. All right, look behind you. What's behind me? Oh, that's... Y'all can't do that. What's okay. that all about? What I know that? all about that. I do that to people. What is yeah. that? What is that? Is that something I don't know no, about? No, it's like a thing where like you, uh, on, if you're watching someone live, right, and you go in the comments and you're like, look behind you. There's something behind you. But I can see what's behind me because I'm on the screen. Yeah. But if they're trying to do that to you, y'all can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> we have like three screens in front of us. We have two tablets right here and a cell phone right there. So I can see what's behind me by just looking on the screen, you know? Yeah, and I'm not on location, so I'm pretty good. Um, so Christina says she loves you, little froggy. I love you too. Oh my god. Okay. What do you? What is that? Is it light up? No, it smells like bananas. But it, doesn't it smell like smells bananas. like bananas. I am going slap bracelet crazy here. Can I slap you with the bracelet? <laughs> 
I'm sorry. That's, I shouldn't slap children. <laughs> I, I don't think they're supposed to. Is that bananas? Is it supposed so. to smell? Oh, there's extra accessories in here. Did you get one? No. Yeah. When I open mine up, I have an extra accessory. So we have this little purple chick. Nope. Got this little purple girl here. And then this says fierce. A little thing. I love this font. I can tell. Can I walk around with these? Like, when people look at me, like, why is this grown woman wearing this? I got stuff? a keychain. I don't care. Oh, what I people had think. This. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Excitement. Someone says, "How you doing?" And I was, I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm guessing you're not supposed to put more than one at a time. Maybe it's so you can switch them out. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's but check this one. Bananas. Uh, Diamonds 2 says, I love BTS. I love BTS too. And I'm opening up one of the Pick Me Pop surprise. I want the BTS dolls. Like, seriously. Only thing we've been listening in the car to lately is like the Jonas Brothers. Yeah, we're about to go to a concert. Yes, Jonas Brothers concert is coming up. And so that's what we've been listening to. I've kind of seen the entire off of BTS album over and over and over and over again. Yeah, like the entire. Except for it's a good album, though. It is. I like most of the songs. I'm not a real slow song person. Like, they're all very. They feel like the beach, you know. It's all very summer. It, it reminds me of the yeah, summer. It doesn't feel like old Jonas Brothers, though. It does not feel like the old Jonas but, Brothers. It's a whole new '80s, '90s retro kind of sound. But I remember Jonas Brothers is very like rock and roll type of like heavy guitar, you know. So we have a little hair bows here. So they didn't really have those album, but I liked it. Oh yeah, look at that! Ah! I feel so 80s. Okay, I need like some nets on my hand right here. Give me some nets and I'm gonna hang a key off my earring. What do you think? You're hanging a key off the earring? Yeah, that's what we did. We like hung a key off the bottom of the earring like Madonna, you know? And then you have your hair bow. And then you need some tool. I already got like the crimp like hair naturally, but you know, so that would be so awesome. Um, can you make a My Little Pony room? We have a My Little Pony room out there. We really do. No, I just messed up my nails on the Noah video. That's tough. Man. Okay, we have a My Little Pony room out there. Um, I believe it's called My Little Pony Fan Room. So you can check that video out. There's two separate rooms in the same video. So you can really enjoy that one. I did it twice. You gotta move to card number three. Someone said mochi or cookie. <laughs> huh? Mochi or cookie. Mochi or cookie? Are those the BTS? Yeah. BT21 people? No. I mean, cookie is BT. He is one. Are you talking about the food? No, I'm talking about the people. Oh. Mochi or cookie? Mochi or cookie? I don't even know which one. Wait, cook, cook, cookie is the koala? No. <laughs> it's koala. <laughs> Dude, I don't remember. Uh, I don't know. I like Jimin's voice, but... Yeah, I like... I, like, I don't know. How many, how many bows are too many? I can't pick one. Um, How many bows are too many? One is too many. One is no. One is not too many. It's so cute. Okay, here. Maybe you can put this one right here. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Um, what is the next question? Someone says, "Have you played BTS World yet?" Have I you? have. Yeah. I have not. I have. It's so weird. But why? I is like it, it. Why is it weird? They like call you and they text you, and then for me, it's like, oh my god. But. <laughs> it's so Crazy. BTS is calling and texting you yeah, in an app because they're basically you're basically their manager or whatever. Like you are BTS's manager? Not really, what? but like pre debut. <laughs> but they don't look like pre debut. They look like 2017. So they say what? They look like they're from 2017. And there's like subtitles because I don't speak Korean. So we got we got magnets here. What am I gonna do with these? I'm gonna like redo the refrigerator and pick me pop mag magnets. That's going to happen. It's going to happen. Be prepared, family. It's coming. Okay, so there's a game where you can play, like, BTS is calling you, and you're their manager. That's kind of, that's actually a really cool idea. It is and cool, but the thing is, they actually, they, like, not actually text you, but, like, they, it seems like they're texting you, and it's so weird because it's, like, you're getting text messages from your favorite band. When is the Star Trek uh, app coming out so I can get telecom communications with the captain? Never. When was that going to happen? <laughs> Someone said, uh... Beam me up, Scotty. Okay, what's what? your favorite song? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite song is Cool. Absolutely. Cool by Jonas Brothers. What about you? These make good rings. No, I like Dream I'm Glow saying. right now. What um, is Dream Glow? Or, yeah, Dream Glow from it's BTS and Charlie 
I don't know who the last three letters of the name, but yeah. Cool song, cool song. Oh, Aaron, you like the look? Ha! <laughs> I know, right? It's, it's not too much, right? It's not too much. I, I enjoy it too. Okay, up next is, did we open everything? Okay, so I opened the slap bracelets and I got all my accessories. And I opened the Pick Me Pop Surprise hair bow. You get two bows inside so you can switch them out. I've got a silvery one and a pink one. And then you opened one of the tins. Yeah. Which you get to keep the tin and store all of your accessories inside. So that is actually pretty cool. I would get the tin just to use as a way to store everything. And then you got magnets in there. And you got a little keychain, which will look great on your luggage. Did she even show you any of this? I just had an idea. Look. Can I, can I do this? Someone said do a 70s or 80s room. And then they said, do you like the 70s or 80s better? Um, I like the 80s the best. If I had to choose. Oh, I can't take this off. No, no, you're going to rip it. Because we know you. I was born in the 70s or the 80s, so I don't really know. But. <laughs> you know the, what the eras look like, though, don't you? I mean, you have an idea. 80s was. Like 80s was bright colors, outrageous things hanging off your earrings, uh, lots of neon and tool, wearing skirts with pants. And it was 70s like Diana Ross. 70s, I don't know that I that was before my time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with 80s. All about the 80s, baby. I don't even know who's like the big music artist in the 80s. Oh, uh, Cookie is Jungkook. Oh, okay. Well. You know that? I, I know there's one for each of them. You know, I literally just play with the toys and I love the steady teddy bears. I can't say that I'm a fan that knows everything about anything because I don't. I just I mean, like you don't want to like. know everything because then you're assessing. But I just like what I like. And I like the giant koala. And I like the, the lamb. No, the sheep. RJ. The, is it a sheep or a llama? It's a llama. The llama. I think the llama is cool. The cookie looks angry. So I don't know how I feel about the chocolate chip cookie. cookie. Yeah, that thing looks angry. And the um the heart with the giant yellow mouth, that's just weird to me. But you don't um, like tata. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't, don't want to offend anybody, but I'd like the koala because it looks pleasant. The bunny would be cute if it wasn't so angry. So that's just my opinion. But with the dolls coming out, I'm excited about all of them because they all have suits on and they're all bright colors and I believe they're fully articulated. So yeah, I'm excited because it's a doll. And just that Makes me super excited. So someone said, "Who's your favorite BTS member?" Tang. <laughs> I don't know. One of the rapper people sound good. Um, like RM, right? Yes, that, yeah. the rapper dude. Namjoon. Yes, that the one leader. sounds good. Okay. Um, next, be Barbie dolls. What does that mean? LOLs or Barbie dolls? What? LOLs or Barbies? The LOLs or Barbies? Yeah. I'm gonna go. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna go with Barbie just because I like things that look like oh those big LOL people. things. <laughs> well, there are. I have seen pictures floating around about the new, the the larger dolls coming out from the uh, the LOL series called OMG, and those look pretty exciting. I've just seen pictures floating around Instagram. I don't know if they're supposed to be out yet or not. I don't really know exactly but what all cute, that is. You know, I think they're adorable actually. I do, and I think I might really get into the whole LL thing with the larger dolls because I really like the 12 inch doll size, and that's like my favorite size. So, so, what is your least favorite craft? My least favorite craft are cabinets that work. I don't like cabinets, I don't like drawers, I don't like making everything move. That is my absolute least favorite thing in the world. So, just throwing that out there, <laughs> it makes everything take so much longer. Not a huge fan of that. So, so what about the pillow fort room? Pillow fort room. I, okay, I did research on that the other day, and I was looking into it, and I also saw, so when you Google pillow fort, blanket forts come up too. And the blanket fort looks amazing. So I think if we're going to do it, we're just going to be like a pillow fort, blanket fort kind of combination. And I was, uh, I'm excited about that. Let me go get some fabric and see what we can, we can do, because I think that sounds like fun. I might do it like a Disney theme, like maybe a Disney character. So, I think I'm losing circulation in my fingers. So, so this is probably not a good idea. I don't think okay. that was meant to be It wasn't fingers. meant to be used that way. I am not using the product correctly. So, when you put it on your fingers, you may lose circulation. So, don't put it on your fingers. Just throwing that out there. Okay. So, I said, how many years of school do you have? Me? Uh, I got all the way to grad school. I did a year of grad school. 
and then I stopped. I didn't finish. <laughs> I didn't finish grad school. Yeah, but it's not like you drop out of like you dropped out of grad school. So <laughs> don't be a dropout. But I it learned was grad school. It was grad school, and I learned that I didn't. I didn't want to be an accountant. So I was in school to be an accountant, and I realized that. I wasn't using my time wisely by going to school for a degree I didn't want, so. I have eight years of school. Oh, yeah. How do you get your hair so curly? It, it grows, grows that, that way. way. Yep. <laughs> but we did find some really amazing products that helped our curls to kind of like stay together. So instead of them being like a frizzy, big, lovely, you know, fuzzball here which is what I usually have um, we use melanin hair care products from a youtuber called naturals 87 and she makes these products and she sells them online at melanin hair care and that's what we've been using on our hair but then today I used some hair wax and I got like highlights loving that yeah okay uh, what when is the wild hearts review coming out Wild Hearts review, I am working on that right now. That review should come out on Monday. So tomorrow we will have my journey of finding the dolls. I did a little doll hunting video uh, yesterday and that video will be launched tomorrow. And then the review for the things I found will start on Monday. Someone said, what are, what is your favorite subject in school? And what is your least favorite? Do you have any tips for people in school who work uh well you wouldn't have tips for people who work in school because uh, you don't work yet what? <laughs> um, i do work in the summer mm -hmm. i actually do miss school to do stuff <laughs> okay okay i don't want to offend anyone over here but tips for working while in school um i I only worked a little bit when I was in school. I was fortunate enough to be able to work part-time when I was in college and so that I was able to balance work and study pretty e easily. If you have a full-time job and a full-time workload, I mean school load, that's that's tough. Uh, oh, I, she said I you had nine years of school. You forgot kindergarten. I did forget kindergarten. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so working with uh, and going to college full-time, I, I didn't do that. So um, I couldn't tell you how to do it because I didn't. I only worked in the summers in college and um and like 10 hours a week during the school year so uh, my thing was just managing your time i didn't really go out and party a lot in college i was really all about school like the whole time so i had free time which was spent watching cartoons but i'm guessing i could have used that free time to uh work that would have made sense well <laughs> i don't like math or i love math i took math as like electives like for fun, I took math theory. You waste your electives on math. I I took dinosaurs. I took math theory. I took. You I have to treasure math. your electives. Those are the only free times you have. Okay. I have graphic design, Spanish, and orchestra. Those are my electives. I took improv. One of the best classes I ever took. So if you have an opportunity to take improv in college, take it. It will make you so like not scared to talk in public like ever. I can talk to anyone anywhere because I'm just like an improv queen. I love improv. Take it in college if you have a chance. Uh, will you do a Descendants 3 doll giveaway? If I get extra dolls, I will definitely do that. While I was at Walmart, I did pick up two extra Wild Hearts Crew dolls and that giveaway will be coming up after this giveaway. And we usually have like five days between giveaways. So probably by next youtube live we'll be launching that wild hearts crew or sometime during the week because our giveaway that we're going doing right now ends on sunday it's a 3d printed giveaway where we're giving away little tiny playstations and uh, my froggy sub blind boxes and we just developed a tv it's like a little retro tv but it doesn't fit in the box it's a little bit too big so we might just put that on the side so that giveaway ends on saturday and then the next one will be wild hearts crew so i said is there a little froggy doll not yet we are working on that whole thing. It's not time yet. I mean, it's not ready yet. So, still working on it. Um, how Can you make a transforming dress for Barbie dolls? Yes, I guess. What's we your favorite horse breed? Morgan. You? I like Dutch Warm Bloods. Have you ever seen one in life? Yes, in I have. Life? I have seen a Dutch Warm Blood. This one's fine. Which one's a Dutch Warm Blood? He's Irish. Irish Warm Blood. But... Warm okay. are <laughs> so pretty and Frisians. 
I okay, yes, Frisians are awesome, but the feathers are like a lot of maintenance. You have to like, take care of them. You have to like take care of them. But they're huge horses. They're huge I horses. I love them. They are lovely. You see what I I'd love to there? have one. <laughs> Uh, can you do a doll hairdo video? Uh, yes, I am not the absolute best at styling doll hair. I'm gonna admit that right now. That is not my forte. Um, but I can definitely show you what I can do and that would be a lot of fun. If you wanna see a video that's already out there, we did do doll braids where we braided the doll's hair and we've done reroutes in several videos. So you can check those out for right now until we can do another video. What do you do in your sports spare time? Sleep. You? Uh, I draw. Actually, and I horse back ride. Well, that's not, yeah. That's not free time. That's not my free time. We schedule that. Yeah. But um, if you look at the frog vlog on Instagram, that's our like family Instagram. We do a lot of things, and so recently we went and played miniature golf in the dark. That was fun. Uh, it was like it's called monster golf, and it was at night and every, not at night, but it was indoors, and everything was really really dark, but everything glowed, and that was fun. Then we went tubing down a river. We went skateboarding. I fell. Like I got hurt. Um, we <laughs> like to do a lot of family things in our free time. So yeah, that happens. So sad. I just saw it. Um, what grade is Little Frog in? I'm going to ninth grade, unfortunately. Actually, fortunately, because that means I didn't get I, held back. But uh, not yet. Not. <laughs> sorry, I'm talking to people behind the camera. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. You need to get something. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> And someone said, do you have any other kids? Yes, Froggy Boy, the, the one I'm talking to right now who just left the room. Um, yes, her and Froggy Boy. Oh, uh, next question is, what is your favorite? No, have you seen Aladdin yet? No, no. We'll wait till that comes out on, uh, what is it called, iTunes. We were supposed to go see it yesterday, and instead we went and played miniature golf in the dark. So that happened. Because we were thinking, okay, we have free time. Do we really want to sit down and just sit there? I didn't. I like moving around. And so we went and played golf instead. One of these days. We so both said, where's the best place you've ever lived? Colorado. Colorado. Absolutely. Hands down. My I favorite want to place. go back. I love Colorado. 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 Yeah, that. I love that place. It was amazing. I love the mountains. I love... The snow was so different. It wasn't like crazy cold snow. It was like... It's like flurry, pretty... Instagram snow. Yeah, and you could handle it. It wasn't like, I'm going to die from cold. Yeah, it was, it was like, like, you could, oh, it's a beautiful snowy day. Let's go for a walk. But like here, when it's cold, you don't want to go outside. It was like, like gross ever. and like mushy and, and sludge. Yeah. And, yeah. Mm, yeah. But yeah, that was the best place I ever lived. Um, what's your favorite pick me pop? Please answer. I don't know their names, but I like the ones that smell like fruit. Really? <laughs> I, I do. like the ones that smell like, uh, there was a... Uh, you know, those smell like they candy, but not like the baked goods. Do these smell? I I'm not a fan of like the caramel. When they smell like candy, the caramel, the chocolate ones. No, I can't handle or those. The, or the vanilla. I but can't. like, if they smell like the Jolly Rancher, like if they should come on Jolly Rancher smell. I don't oh think God. these are supposed to smell. Pick me pops and Jolly Rancher should, definitely should team, team up. Because Jolly Rancher smells so good. Yes, because who doesn't need more of those smells? And like um, Airheads and Jolly Ranchers and Skittles, bro. They should like actually like do that. Candy themed pick me pops. That'd be such a good idea. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, what is Froggy Boy's name? Do you want me to tell you, say what your name? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, Noah. That is his name. Okay. Uh, can you make a ladybug room? That is on our list. Can we do an Aladdin room? We did. We did a, a Cave of Wonders for Aladdin that turns around. You can see uh, a, inside the palace for Jasmine in a garden scene. So that video is on YouTube right now. And I think that our blanket pillow fort room might have an Aladdin theme. Even though I haven't seen the movie, I'm so crazy about it because I watched it when I was little. So, so it said, if you could change your name, what would it be? I wouldn't change my name. My name has the word toy in it. So <laughs> I'm good. What about you? I don't think I would know what to call myself. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why someone did it for me. Exactly. <laughs> uh, can you make a pick me pop room? Yes. We can definitely put that on the to-do list. Who edits your videos? Um, my fantastic editor. What's your ideal vacation? Is my husband. So, yeah. Uh, what? Ideal vacation. Ideal vacation is sleep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Lots of sleep. <laughs> ideal vacation? Like, I don't know. Harry Potter world. California. I like California. Star Wars world. I like going to California, but I don't like vacation Disney in Disney world. I like working in California. Disneyland. 
well, we've already been to Disney World, so why do we have to go to Disneyland? We're going to California, so we are going to Disneyland. I know, but like we've gone to Disney World and we've had the whole like you have people like you have the person. We go cannot around. go to Anaheim and not go to Disneyland. No, but the I forbid it. We went to as Disney a parent, World. I'm putting we had my someone foot down. We had someone that like, literally cut lines for us, and now we have to go to Disneyland and we have no cut lines. Okay, so the last time, wait in the lines. The last time she went to Disney World, we were on a deal. We were like on a brand deal, and so um, we had escort. It was a fantastic experience. But it was a very unrealistic experience. Most people don't experience Disneyland. Bro, that way. whenever we go to whenever we go to Six Flags, we always get a flash pass, and we don't have to okay, wait in line. Okay, we only go to Six Flags. <laughs> okay, we, or we, or we get like exit passes from Six Flags, so we can go and not go in lines. You know I what? don't like lines. You have a very skewed view of the world. People wait in lines. And <laughs> I went to my school. I didn't go and get my friend nachos. Like, because you could get nachos and, like, I didn't eat them. But I think you you're explaining your friend to everyone how spoiled you are. No, I didn't get her nachos because <laughs> I don't like lines. So I didn't grow up as a YouTuber with these privileges. I was used to waiting in line. And sometimes people wait in line. That happens. Normal. I mean, I guess you people wait but in line. But it's like, okay, when it's like a Disneyland line, it's like... But their lines are amazing. When you're at Disneyland, the lines are like... Um, there's like little things to look at and take pictures of. When we were at Universal, the Harry Potter line was like better than the ride. You were like walking through scenes and Those, stuff. That was a lot of lines. It's amazing. So, you know, I think you're going to be okay. Everything's not a brand deal. So. I like brand deals. <laughs> so chill. <laughs> um, can you do a, theme, a Sam's themed doll room? Ooh. Well, every doll room is kind of. Because you can make of, it in The Sims. Yeah, because we can make it in The Sims. And a lot of times, believe it or not, she or she used to do this for me. She would design a room in The Sims, and then I would go and recreate it. We didn't say that's what we did. But we use The Sims software, The Sims game, as software for building rooms and, and placement, especially in small spaces. So we already kind of do that. And we have Sims-themed dolls with a little plum bob above their head. That video is on YouTube. So you can check it out whenever you have a chance. Okay, uh, once again, we would like to give a special thanks to Bullseye Toy for sending all of these awesome little things to us. And we will also uh, include these in some of our giveaways so some of y'all can check them out and have Someone a good time. Someone said Harry Potter or BTS. Obviously BTS. Come on now. Well, what do you mean? Like, these as dolls go? I don't know. Who has they're been? like totally... Oh, these light up. Did you show them that? I didn't know that. I knew, I knew Look, it did, but I didn't know it how says it says light... I couldn't figure it light out. Light-ups. It says it wrong package. I couldn't figure it out. So when you squeeze her little belly, there's a light on the side. I wonder if we could... What can we do with this? There's got to be something we can do and add this to the dollhouse. Working LOL lights. I'm going to figure that out. Just give me some time. Um, can you... What's the next question? What's your favorite room? My favorite room that I've ever made? Yeah. Sophie and Chloe's room. Sophie's room by far because she's got toys and she's got Captain and she's got like sci-fi stuff. That's my favorite room of all time. So what's your favorite company to work with? My favorite company to work with? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, yeah, Moose takes us places like all the time, which is really, really fun. <laughs> and <laughs> well, I mean, I love Moose. I love uh, Mattel. Mattel I'm, always has like really cool stuff at Toy Fair. World of EPI, the people who make fresh dolls. Uh, I love them. I love working with uh, MGA. I love working with Hasbro. Hasbro was so much fun. We did the scavenge, the run through oh, New yeah, York City. Cool. Um, Spin Master is another good one. Golden um, Blocks takes us places. Pacific. What, what was the name of that? Pacific. Pacific Rim. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't remember, but I think the word Pacific is in the title. Um, I, I, Pacifica? I have. And Goldie Blocks is a lot of fun. I just said that. No. So every, I've never had oh, a bad Pacifica experience a... with a toy company. I've loved working with every single one that I've ever worked with. Can you show us around the room? Not today, because my craft room is a hot mess. But as soon as we get it organized, we will try to do another uh, uh, review. Right now, we're overloaded with product, and I'm trying to get through a whole bunch of reviews. Ah, okay, I've been told I'm at 30 minute mark. And uh, real quick, let's finish up a couple questions. How excited were you to find the Walhards crew in Walmart? Very, very excited. Definitely. 
had some nostalgia going on there with feeling like, you know, the doll hunting days are back. And I'm really excited to see what other doll lines come out and start running to the store to find all of them. Because this is the season. The season's starting right now when everyone starts loading the stores with dolls. Okay, I'm trying to control myself. Just not doing a good job. So. Yeah, yesterday we were in Walmart. We were in like six different Walmarts looking for these dolls. <laughs> and eventually me and my brother started putting sword fights with each other in Walmart. Then we started riding bicycles. Why are you aisles. telling everyone that I'm the soccer? kind of parent that lets you ride bikes in the store? <laughs> you don't. Oh, man. Okay. And she was filming, so. <laughs> yeah. So that happened. Um, then we went to Target, and we were, and you know the furniture section in Target, where, like, is all these, like, like chairs and everything? Yeah. And so basically we pulled out one of the chairs and we just sat down for, like, 15 minutes. Well, that was good. Sitting in the chair is okay. Uh, riding bikes to the store is not good, and I don't appreciate it. It was one aisle. Everybody, but yeah, I'll let you do that. Okay, um, can you, how long does it take to make a Darby show? Darby shows can take uh, all day. If I'm writing an actual script and I take the time to write, that could take me a day, day and a half, and then another day of filming. Um, the most recent Darby shows, I've literally just been playing as I go, and so they take me about a day, day and a half. Then it has to go into editing, which is more time, several, several hours. So... Um, what is your favorite doll brand out of the following? LOL, Barbie, Project MC Square, Monster High, American Girl, Orange Animals. Mm, I like all of those, but I'm going to add Fresh Dolls because I love them as well. Then I'm going to say out of the ones you told me, Barbie, Monster High. Monster High will forever be like one of my absolute favorites. I love Monster High. Um, Project MC Square, MC Square, I love their, their faces. I like their heads, but I always transplant their bodies. Their fashion is awesome, but um, I always transplant the bodies. Okay, all right, where am I at? Go to Lefty Taffy. All right, uh, we did questions. So Instagram giveaway ends on Sunday. We're giving away 3D printed stuff made by yours truly and Froggy Boy. He does all of my electronics on the 3D printer, so that is a fun giveaway. Then after that, we'll be doing Wild Hearts Crew. And right now, we are ready to do shout outs really, really fast because we are totally over on time. All right, here we go. Uh, Kimberly Ramos, what's up? Eddie Martha 09, what's up? Um, Toys Glore, what's up? Jack Specific. Jack Specific, yeah. yes. What's it. up? <laughs> oh, and just play. They're too fun too. Okay, um, hack along with Olivia and her brother Joey, what's up? Uh, Gianna Hill, what's up? Craft Doll Star 17, what's up? Um, Aesthetic, what's up? Beach Girl, three, two, four, what's up? Uh, Faith Evans, what's up? Sister Honey, what's up? Uh, Shannon, what's up? Gonzalez Art, what's up? Um, we George, love George C, what's up? Uh, Rachel Prindell, what's up? You know what I didn't do? I never read the fan mail. I never actually read the fan mail. Oh, today. Okay, really, really fast. I am so horrible at this. Okay, fan mail. Here's the letter right here. All extra out of order. Um, okay, dear my froggy sub, my name is Presley. I love your videos. I've been watching for two years. What's up, Presley? I really like your Hatchimal boat ride video. Is it possible for you to make a doll roller coaster? Yes, I can definitely try. Uh, it would be really cool to see Sophie and Chloe go on an amusement park. By the way, where did you get your remit toys? Barnes & Noble. Um, can I, I can't find them. Thanks, guys. You're fabsome. Sincerely, Presley. Uh, can you please give a shout out to Barbie Sisters? Shout out to Barbie Sisters. What's, What's up? up? Thank you so much for joining us this week on YouTube Live with the Froggies. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell. And follow us on Instagram at the Frog Stuff and the Frog Vlog. Don't forget, we will be at VidCon this year in Anaheim. So if you see us, please come by and say hi. Unfortunately, we will not make it to Briarfest, but you know, we are really excited to see and meet every last one of you at VidCon. Okay, we'll see you next week. Bye! Bye.